Hey everyone, I'm Lisa Nguyen. And uh, to be honest, this account that I created was supposed to be just a test account, but now there's almost 100,000 of you guys. So I realized I needed to start making more content for this channel. So I am doing this introduction video here, as well as showing you my journey on the spicy challenge video and the days I tried to build my spice tolerance. A little introduction. Again, my name is Lisa Nguyen and I am a food vlogger. I used to travel to different cities to highlight family owned restaurants and then COVID hit the pandemic and I wasn't able to do so. So I started cooking in the kitchen and for some reason people liked what I was cooking. I was cooking instant ramen, I was cooking spring rolls, just a bunch of different things. And to be honest, I barely knew how to cook before then, but now I am learning every single day. So I am totally enjoying it. And this is my life now until I can go back to traveling. So I will continue to do spicy challenges. I will continue to test in the kitchen. If you guys have any recipes for me to try or suggest, please comment down below in the comments. I'm gonna get right into this video. I'm going to be showing you the five days I tried to build my spice tolerance, and then the sixth day where I tried to do the spice noodle challenge. I'm going to include clips that I wasn't able to in the short video since I had to fit it into a minute or two. So in this video, I can just include whatever. So you're gonna find some clips that you haven't seen before if you have been watching my short videos. But other than that, uh, welcome to my channel. I am so excited to create more content for you guys. Thanks for watching. As some of you remember, I said I would do the spicy noodle challenge if Thai Orchid's employees would try it. It's basically putting four ounces of these Thai chili flakes in cup noodles and eating the whole thing. And out of the two people that try it, they both have only gotten two bites in. So I've come up with a strategy and I have no idea if it'll work. I will do a four day series where I try spicy foods to try to build up my spice tolerance. Today is day one and I will be eating jalapeno cream cheese Takis. But I will be including the insides of the jalapeno and the cream cheese along with truff sauce, their hotter version. I mix everything together Together and put it into a sandwich bag so I could fill the jalapenos easier. I filled each jalapeno and was able to fit three Takis in each one. Okay, not bad. Definitely got a kick to it. I'm feeling the burn in the back of my throat, but this is actually really good. I do feel the taste of the cup hot sauce and then the peppers. I'm just gonna try to eat through these quickly so it doesn't really get to me. So here we go. Ooh. Number two. Three. Ooh. It's really starting to burn right now. I gotta eat these quickly. I guess some pockets will help, honestly, to help with the heat. Four. All right, so that completes the first day. I've got three more days to go before the final challenge. If you guys have any suggestions for spicy things for me to try to build up my spice tolerance, I would greatly appreciate it. Comment down below and I'm gonna get a drink. All right, it's day two of trying to build my spice tolerance. Today, I'm attempting the ghost pepper spicy chicken noodles. I haven't tried these before, but I've seen videos of people trying it and it's kind of intimidating. And of course, it's got this warning, extremely spicy, try at your own risk. You know, totally what I wanna see before I eat something. So inside, you get a fork, which I don't need since I'll be using chopsticks, and then the hot sauce packet. The noodles are a dark purplish black color. It looks really cool. I added boiling water and let it sit for four minutes. Then I drained the water and added the hot sauce. I made sure to mix it really well so I wouldn't get any unpleasant surprises. So I have the whipped cream from yesterday. I think that will help the heat a little bit. I'll have some Takis with it if I need to use it. I don't know if I need to, but we'll see. I'm pretty scared. I haven't tried these yet. I've tried some hot noodles, but not these. So we're gonna eat these. My goal is just to eat it as quickly as possible. Oh my gosh. Gotta get my hair off to the side, get into eating mode. Oh boy. I'm scared, I'm scared, I'm scared, but let's do this. Oh yeah, that's hot. Oof. That is hot. Wait, right, I'm not gonna jinx it by saying it's not as hot as I thought it would be, but it's still hot. It's burning. Ooh, my lips. Oh, man.
Okay, the key is definitely to eat it as quickly as possible because the heat is kicking in. I'm crying. Okay, that concludes day two. Give me suggestions for day three, please. All right, it's day three of me trying to build my spice tolerance, and I'm trying the Blazing Carolina Reaper wings from Buffalo Wild Wings. I think these came out a few months ago, and I haven't had the chance to try them yet. Again, I have my whipped cream cheese from yesterday, and I got their milk. It's supposed to be the white milk, but somehow I think they just accidentally gave me the chocolate one, so hopefully this helps at the end. I'm gonna try to go through this without using any of those. Um, I might have to, who knows. Okay, that's got a kick to it. It's burning. I can feel the burn now. It took a little while to kick in, to be honest. All right, five wings to go. Ooh. It is a very slow burn. It's starting to make the <coughs> <laughs> lips burn. I definitely think the key to these is do not get the sauce around your lips because that's where it's burning the most. Here's the last one. All right, so I just finished that six wings. This was probably the slowest burn I've had over the past few days. How many days have I been doing this? This is day three. And my lips are still burning a lot from this. So very slow burn and it kicked in afterwards. The beginning felt really easy. I would probably put this on the same level as a ghost pepper, maybe just a little bit less spicy. I am feeling a head rush right now from the spice or something. Let's try the chocolate milk. Spicy wings and chocolate milk. Um, not something that I would, a pairing that I would normally go with. Oh yeah, that's good. That helped a lot. And that concludes day three. If you guys have suggestions for day four, comment down below. Thanks. It's day four of trying to build my spice tolerance and I'll be eating a Carolina Reaper pepper and a ramen bun. My friend gave me these peppers a couple of months ago and I've been storing them in vinegar in my fridge. I actually don't remember which one is a ghost pepper and which one is a reaper, so there's a chance I'm getting it wrong. And I'll be cooking a two times spicy ramen. If you've seen some of my other videos, then you know that I don't drain all of the water after cooking the noodles, but I will this time because I'm reintroducing some of the pepper juice into the noodles and then I'll add the two times spicy hot sauce. Then I rolled out some Pillsbury flaky biscuit dough and stretched it out so I could fill it with the noodles and scary looking reaper. Next, I added the toasted nori and sesame seeds, shredded mozzarella, and I crushed up the rest of my Takis to dust a little over the top. Okay, so my plan was to just put a reaper in one of the buns and try to make them all look the same so I wouldn't know which one it was in. Unfortunately, that didn't work out because the offending bun opened up its hole in the steamer. So I thought I would be smart and put mozzarella slice on top of each one, and I definitely wouldn't know. I even spun the thing around over and over, but of course that didn't work, so I'll just save the reaper bun for my last one. This is day four of the challenge. Got these ramen buns, two times spicy, and I put Carolina Reaper in one of them. I wanted to make it fun and not know which one it was in, but obviously the bun was not cooperating, which is totally fine. I'll just leave it for the last one um, and I'll do these other two. And I just have some whipped cream cheese to help me out if I need it. It's the spice that burns. The sourness of the Takis adds a nice little touch to it. All right, it is the last piece. <coughs> I got one end of the Reaper. Here's the reaper peeking it out. I'm just gonna go for it. Oh no. I don't even like milk, but I have to drink this. My mouth is on crazy fire. My ears, I can't hear. Okay, this concludes day four. I will be doing day five tomorrow. It's day five of trying to build my spice tolerance. And I will be trying the world's hottest gummy bear, the nitrile gummy. It's combustible, it's hot, and it's flammable. It's nine million Scoville, which makes it 900 times hotter than a jalapeno. The world's hottest gummy bear. Am I nervous? Yes, I am. There's no way I'm touching this with my hands. Oh gosh, I am scared, <laughs> guys. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. On three. One, two, three. It was spicy, yes, and it is getting spicier. My head's getting warm. Oh my, okay. 
Ooh, why did I just lick my lips? I can feel the head rush now. I don't know if I've hit the max spice yet because it's still getting pretty hot. It is not as spicy as a Carolina Reaper that I ate yesterday. All right, this is weird, but I can feel a vibration from my hands up to my face. All right, we are three minutes in. The spice is starting to slow down. My face is vibrating right now. This is so weird. But I'm also wondering if my spice tolerance strategy is working. I feel like that was supposed to be hotter than it really was for me personally. And I wonder if the past four days of prepping for this has helped. Okay, so it's been five minutes after swallowing the nitro gummy. The heat is still there. I feel still my tongue burning, but it's mostly all gone. So do you guys think I am ready for the spice noodle challenge tomorrow? I might be. I think I am. It's the moment you've all been waiting for. Well, at least some of you. Today, I'm attempting Thai Orchid's spicy noodle challenge using four ounces of their roasted Thai chili flakes and instant ramen noodles. We're going to see if all my prep has been worth it. Okay, I've got sugar. Someone commented that this may help with the burn. I've got some milk as well. I don't know if this is gonna be enough. <laughs> And I've also got some ice cream. Someone told me that that might help. Before we start with it, I'm gonna protect my lips with some chapstick. Can I take this big of a bite on my first one? That was bad. I don't think I can do it, guys. I can't do it. Oh my gosh, I'm tingling all the way down to my knees this time. Guys, this hurts a lot. Oh no. Severe tingling from my chest to my mouth. I am going to have to tap out. This was too much for me. I want to try sugar first. Okay, I'll try one more bite. I feel bad for tapping out. I did all that work for nothing. Alrighty, I'm tapping out. That was too much. The sugar was good, I guess. It kind of helped. Oh yeah, milk. Milk it is. So I think the problem with the sugar was that does not mix well with the spice. It tasted horrible. It hurts. You guys, I am not sure how long it's been, but it burns from the front of my mouth to the back of my mouth. <laughs> I think it's 10 minutes after the challenge and my mouth is still on fire. It hasn't lessened at all. So that wasn't even an enjoyable heat. That was just pure torture. Each bite was straight fire in my mouth. If you're up for a spicy challenge, I say you should try this. But other than that, that was too much for me. Never again. I feel fine now, but earlier my mouth was on fire. 